Our focus lesson today is going to be literacy and I would like us to carry on with our biography work that we started before school closed. So let's have a look. Okay. Oh, no, I'd like me to go away. There we go. Okay, so uh, I've created this video to help you with your research today. And the first thing I would like you to think about is who are you going to choose? We were working on significant individuals of the Victorian era. And before school closed, we did a lot of work around Queen Victoria. And you might have started doing a class biography on Queen Victoria with Miss Steady. But I'd like to give you the opportunity to make a bit more choice with this activity. And you're going to plan it today, you're going to do the research today, and then on Thursday, I'll make another video showing you how to use the Purple Mash template I've set you to write your biography and you can share it from Purple Mash. So we know a lot about Queen Victoria already. You did fact files for homework and we've used it as an example in class. So you might not want to choose her. I'm going to use her for my examples. Uh, we started looking at William Morris and his art. So you might want to do some more research about him. Isambard Kingdom Brunel and his links to Maidenhead. You might want to choose him or maybe somebody totally different. Maybe Charles Dickens, the writer or maybe Marie Curie, the scientist. OK, so the choice is yours. Pick one of those or pick your own. So in your home learning that you will be, well, we've already have looked at, uh, you will have uh, a page that looks like this. I'll open it up like that. OK, and there's a bit more information there and something that looks like this. So when you've chosen your significant person, I think the first thing you need to do when you're researching is to be able to answer our six basic questions. OK, who, where, what, when, why, how? And I've written some uh, examples here about the kind of questions for each question starter that you might want to think about. OK, so uh, if you scroll down on your home learning activity, you could either choose to do a mind map like this with facts about your significant individual around the edge and write their name in the middle. You might want to use a lined version. You might want to make up your own spider diagram, mind map, notes, boxes, however you best learn. OK, but I've chosen to do one that looks like this. So I've chosen Queen Victoria. And I've already started putting in some basic facts, things that you will probably already know about her as well, in the bubbles around the outside. Now, I might run out of space quite quickly because we do know a lot about her. So you can always add more. You might want to start sorting your information into sections because we will be trying to use subheadings. But we'll do more about that next time. OK, so I've just started adding facts around the outside and then I would carry on using the different bubbles, adding more facts about different parts of her life. And then we can sort them later. So depending on who you might want to choose, uh, you can either do your own research or most of these QR codes are actually video information from BBC Teach about significant individuals. So all you need to do, like you do at school, is use uh, the iPad that you're working on or phone, if you've got access to an adult's phone, ask first uh, and you can scan the QR code like we would at school and it will take you straight to a video, hopefully, about that person. OK, and it should look something like this. OK, you'll come to a page that looks like this and then you can watch the video. There's also facts underneath. And you can view the video transcript, which gives you all the information from the video in sentences. The only difference is for the William Morris QR code. There isn't a video on him on BBC Teach, but it takes you to this web page here. And it's safe for kids. It's by Kiddle. And there's lots of facts about his life and pictures there. OK, if you do want to do your own research, Please make sure that you type for kids 
at the end of anything you search and it should make sure that the information you get is suitable for children. OK, alternatively, your parents will hopefully have some kind of um, safety guard on for safe searching for children. If not, check with them first or just use my QR codes. I'm also attaching to your parents and carers email uh, just a little PowerPoint about uh, William Morris and Queen Victoria to give you a bit more information about them. OK, so I would like you to have a go at uh, your planning, please, your notes, your research for your significant individual ready to start writing your biography next lesson. Give it a go. Good luck. Bye.